couples and sharing their thoughts on issues like gay marriage, bans, or whether they should stay friends with someone who told them they were gay. I mean, this is about making the whole world. It's like someone that comes against your backyard and bangs symbols together like the Energizer Bunny and says, look at me, look at me, obsess, obsess, uh, accept my culture, accept what I push. I mean, it is outrageous, and it's a total cultural overwrite, ladies and gentlemen, while Homeland Security trains to take on gun owners, veterans, libertarians, conservatives, as the IRS persecutes them. Judicial Watch has gotten the smoking gun. It's on Infowars.com, proving the persecution and the lying in Congress. We're going to get to that. I mean, the whole world does not revolve around 3% of the population that's, quote, gay. And, you know, a larger percentage of the female population that's bisexual. I mean, I'll tell you, quote, gay, gayness between men is, is not uh, very um, widespread, the statistics. And from my own experience living in Austin, which is a very you know, pro, quote, gay city, it's not anywhere as common as women with women. That is almost ubiquitous across the country. I mean, that is definitely, I'd say half the women are bisexual. I mean, I'll just tell you point blank. And it's growing. Whatever. I, 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 listen, the, the issue here is that they are pushing this on children and chemicals are added to the food and water that in every mammal study cause species-wide sexual confusion. Has there always been same-sex stuff going on? Yes. Roman times, you name it. Is it massively increasing from cultural promotion and chemical inducement? One hundred percent physiologically men are more feminine and women are hyper feminine and almost male and are now attracted to women we have been chemically induced overall into this state of affairs and it's like the omega man the charlton heston movie that's a remake of the last man on earth which got remade again into i am legend and he finds the cure for the vampires that have been exposed to the virus where they've got to have blood. They're basically undead. And they don't want it, and they kill him. And I'm not judging you. I don't dislike you. I'm not obsessed with what you do. I'm a libertarian. But I'm allowed to say I don't want my children being taught and having gay marriage pushed on them. It's an agenda. And it's an unhealthy agenda. It goes along with the anti-gun agenda, the anti-family agenda, the anti, you know, the state runs your kids agenda. This is going on. I'm under attack. Heterosexuals are under attack. And we've quoted the documents from the 60s in, in, point, in, in Endgame 2.0 and shown the documents. It's on record. They said, we're going to promote this and add chemicals to the water and food to reduce fertility and promote homosexuality to reduce population. And they've done it. The CIA funded the sexual revolution. And as fun as that's been for a lot of people to have a bunch of sexual partners, it's bad for families and bad for children and has broken down civilization. So first they said, we're gonna get the women all working so the state's the dad. We're gonna break up the family. We're going to have basically the state raise the kids. Then we're going to promote homosexuality so they don't have kids. That's a fact, folks. That's a fact. It's an agenda. And the people that have been brought up in it chemically and culturally, that's all they've got and it's their culture. And they're going to push it. And, and they're going to try to make you accept their agenda. And you know what? They're dominating. We have been usurped by a homosexual agenda. And driving behind that is the UN and NAMBLA, who's accepted as an NGO at the UN for worldwide acceptance of adult child sex that is absolutely destructive and pure, pure evil. And that's the agenda, and that's now being promoted by the UN, and you now see that being pushed across the board. The sexualization of children, all of it, the memos have come out from Viacom that they're targeting nine-year-old girls and boys for sexualization. They don't want you to have your innocence. They want to wreck people. It's one thing if you're an adult and a consenting adult and you're not uh, hurting anybody. That's your issue. But 
it's time to stop denying what's going on. This is the end of humanity, the end of our biological cycle. They're just preparing us to accept the merger with the machines, in their own words, and the end of humanity as we know it. And so I think we should just have an honest debate about it. If you accept being overridden by the eugenicist and want to die, then I respect that. But be honest, it is a predatory agenda. Just be honest. Harvest Right is the world's first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. When the day comes where the world changes forever, forever, you can be ready at a moment's notice. With Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's completely mobile and ready to go. All the comforts of an RV, but custom-built to outlast any other trailer. Learn more at survivalistcamps.com. Due to overwhelming response, limited inventory is available. Be ready with survivalistcamps.com. Survivalist Camps, providing your basic needs to survive. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence of a political scandal that will destroy Obama's political career and ruin the retirement of millions of unprepared Americans. I've just posted a video at www.obamasecret.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this scandal is set to unfold. This imminent scandal will trigger a virtually unstoppable chain of events that will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere. This event will, however, also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Visit www.obamasecret.com to view my newly released video. Again, that's www.obamasecret.com before it's too late. By the way, I just love David Knight and our reporters, and I know the office listens to the show, but I mean, I'm not a big manager. I let people kind of do what they want, but I realize why corporations in the system want to totally control people. It's because even if it's written directive, stuff doesn't happen. I said, go into the base at 1130. We're going to connect with you. We'll see you drive in and try to talk to the base commander about the 
uh, fort uh, that they have there in Virginia outside Bowling Green, Virginia, where they have the mock FEMA center. We already got in yesterday. Now I want you to go talk to the commander who keeps refusing or the public information officer, the PIO. But I said over and over again to them, David Knight and Biggs, I said, do it at 1130 and go in and talk to them. So I'm just filling you in on what happened. That's why I have to tell you what happened. This morning, they go, yeah, we already went in this morning. They won't talk to us. I said, I want you to do it live on air. Go back and do it again, but don't drive in until 1133. We'll go live to you. They went. We get a garbled call. Sounds like the cops grabbed the phones away. It looks like they've been grabbed. And it wasn't on air to protect them because they didn't listen to what I told them. And I run into this literally constantly across the board. It'd be like if I was a football coach, even in Little League. And I said, you know, pass in, you know, do a Hail Mary, and they send a running back through. Or I say, let's play football, and we play baseball. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm just worried about the guys because we were going to have the live feed and go in, and it didn't happen. So last I know, uh, sounded like the cops grabbed their cell phone away. In America, for trying to go show this base where they're uh, openly training at Fort AP Hill, to take on the American people. It's a mock-up of areas of D.C. And it's got a subway the whole nine yards. And the guys went in there to cover it. And we had the live feeds of that. It was like a ghost town. No one would respond to them. And then now they went back. And, I, and, and we need to get that report from them. So we'll find out uh, just as soon as we can. And we just got all that footage, Alex. And from now on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'm going to have a secretary follow me around with an audio recorder, and I'm going to have orders just like the military issued to just everyone. It'll just all be written. In fact, I'm going to do that. That's it. Because I'm trying to run this media operation. It's driving me crazy right now. Crazy. We're going to have you go in the base live at 11.08 today. Wait till then. Then they go in at like 9 in the morning. Then I go, okay, you're going to go back at 11.30 and see why they won't talk to you. And they go at 11.15 and get grabbed by the police. I mean, I'm just guessing. I don't know what's going on. And I can't throw the table over or punch a hole in the wall. So I don't do things like that since I was a teenager. I just have to sit here and worry about my friends and just this whole backdrop. Just this whole. But maybe if I talk about it on air, actually, we said on air over and over again what we were planning to do because I want the establishment knowing what's going on. And then meanwhile, they're showing people footage of what looks like seven-year-old children watching men kissing men and women kissing women and just selling this agenda, whatever they want. In the public schools, your kids are just totally captured by this. It's so screwed up. The sexualization of children. And then the, and then the sexual perverts that are doing this hide behind civil rights. While they're busy right now, balkanizing us on every single front. Oh, the editor of the New York Times got let go because she was a woman. Not because the magazine's failing. The newspaper's failing. They got a magazine as well. They're both failing. Oh, look, Tyra Banks had produced transgender docuseries for VH1. You'd think that's the only thing happening because they got to get us ready to be transgender because the chemicals they're putting in it will make everybody transgender. Oh, look, Harvard... Kennedy School will make white privilege training mandatory for orientation. That is white hate. Whites are bad. Whites cause the problems. Whites are evil. Well, don't worry. There's only 7% of the world that you could call white, and none of them are having kids. So, you know, maybe it'd be a good day when there's no white people left, so we won't have to get the blame for everything. You know, the blame for Beethoven, the blame for rocket engines, the blame for computers, the blames for Western civilization. But it is true, the West has produced the most evil forms of government. But that's just because evil people have used all the ingenuity of the West. As Jim Morrison said, the West is the best. I don't think you can deny that. A lot of cool stuff in the East as well, but I am a Western man. The West is the best. The West is the best. And it'll do the rest.
The West is...